DSP has formally, finally declared for reals this time that he was the WWE Champions user called They Call Me Dark Side Phil. He claims, however, to mitigate the damage of this reveal that A, he only spent tens of thousands of dollars playing WWE Champions, and he claims that when the name of this account changed, it was because he got kicked out of his guild and could no longer play effectively. Because you basically have to be in a, a guild full of whales to get the best rewards. So he could no longer really play effectively. So since the game was basically taken for him by the guild kicking him out, he changed his name from They Call Me DSP to Down From The Raptor. Sorry, he sold his account. And the person who acquired it um, and paid him money for the uh, really um, high-ranking account with all the... the valuable pools paid him money for it and then they changed the username for his sake because he had acquired the account and then just so happened to rejoin the same guild on wwe champions so this is his his way of um handling the accusations and the totality of the evidence that he was playing this game under this account. Because it just doesn't make sense that this guy called They Call Me DSP, who's playing the same exact fucking game that DSP plays, also just so happens to be a mega whale spending five figures at least into this game, and then they have no relationship with each other. So Big Headed from um, Kino Casino, um, he comes out and says this. Sorry, we're having tech issues today on the forum because of a service outage. How are you going to do me like this? I made you, you piece of shit. Is it that bad? Is it like DDoS attacked? Is this video like 800 megabytes? We may not, just, we may not be able to play. Oh, is the site as a hole down again? Cool. Okay. So we'll come back to that then. If at all. The consequence of this was that he um, had announced this directly before his stream with Stuttering Craig, um, who I have made fun of in the past because he appears to wear makeup and also do Instagram filters that are designed for women. Um, to like make his eyes shinier and his skin sparkly. I do not know why he does this, um, but it's very weird and very obvious to me. Uh, he had prior talk talked to Suttering Craig on the Side Scrollers podcast in March 2023, and this interview went very poorly for Dark Side Phil because um, Craig was supposed to be like a neutral party, but in the days leading up to the interview. The detractors sent tons of information to Craig, and he did his own research. And as they start off, they start off kind of cordial, and then over time, they turn up the heat. And Craig does a pretty good job of, like, wrangling DSP. Um, but as he starts, like, pounding him on his uh, bankruptcy filings and the financial stuff and the bank leaks, um, Darkside Phil just kind of collapses on this and then um, leaves eventually. And... The his his opinion was after after the fact that Craig had um lot had it had been a decent interview, but in the following day Craig made fun of him on like a in responding to super chats and Dark Side Phil has always been kind of angsty about that. Well, they have this follow up conversation, and the the contention is that. Phil was angry that Craig had brought up the bank leaks and the the bankruptcy and the WWE shit. And he said that he was like trying to defame him and injure his reputation. And then at the end of it, uh, you know, DSP announces that he lied basically. And I think this is it. Is it still not going to fucking look? Are you fucking kidding me? Chat, I honestly can't even believe this shit right now. 
so the, the issue was if he had lied during the about being they call me DSP on the game, how can how do you have any right to be upset that the that he as an interviewer asked him questions about it because he was lying and he just showed evidence that he was lying. So how can he be angry? And after arguing about this and having like a little back and forth, um, Dark Side Phil eventually just kicks him off. Is it my VPN that's wrong? I think it is. One second, chat. Boston, Massachusetts, you have failed me yet again. Fuck Massachusetts. That's what I gotta say. Massachusetts, more like massive. Go fuck yourself. Not even. It's still fucked. Today's just not my day, chat. It happens. It happens and it happens every day. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it feels sometimes. Stuff like that. He basically went down on the same route as a many other. Okay, he already kicked him off at this point. Okay, I so see. This is the part. That we can eventually work together in the future in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you come on side scrollers and we do a regular show. If you don't want to do with a politics mm. driven show that isn't uh isn't, you know, whatever you said, right? Right. Um, you, you were extremely, you were extremely, uh, nice with your words. And by nice, I'm, I'm being sarcastic right now. And, and when you told us to go fuck ourselves and all that stuff. So, um, I would like to give you a fair shake someday on side scrollers. If you're open to it, like I said, I, I want to make sure that you and everybody else knows that I am open to working with you in some way, shape or form, but I hope more than anything, I hope you're honest, not just with your audience, but with yourself about the situation. Um, I appreciate your time today, Phil. I got mm -hmm. some dad dudes I got to get done. Thank you guys very much for your time. All and, right. Uh, now, hold on. Yeah. Before you go, let me say my piece, too. All right. Sure. Well, this will be, it'll be quick. I promise. Yeah, yeah. This is it. This is the end. There's no more feud between you and me. Do you agree? That's it. We're done. We can stop going at each other's throats. Phil, I haven't had a feud with you for 18 months, man. Like, That's I, fine. Okay. Whatever you say, monetize yeah. the haters, but you don't have a feud with me. You want me to play Street Fighter with you. You don't have a feud with me. You want me back as a guest on your anniversary show because you know it's going to bring you hype and attention I for my detractors, but you don't have a feud it, with me. Okay. But okay. Fair enough. You don't have a feud, but we're agreeing to this now. It's over, right? We're done. Yeah, we're good. It's, it's over. Yeah. Okay. So, and you, you were asking me now, a year and a half later, Will I be a guest on your show, which was what no, originally was agreed to, correct? Like, that's what you're saying. It was originally, that was the agreement. We were going to do the interview. And then after that, I was going to have the opportunity to be a regular guest on your show like everyone else had been, correct? Right. That was and, the agreement. And after the interview, I sent you that email saying, like, oh, we were just disappointed, right? And the offer wasn't there anymore after the interview because we felt lied to. Okay, so but, now with that said, I hope we can move past it. That's what I'm saying. Now that we've hashed it all out, right? We're all good. You're saying you you're extending that olive branch, and you're saying that that opportunity is there again, possibly not a lock in, but it's possible that I could be on your show. Sure. Okay, I, I'm not I, interested. Well, Go fuck yourself. Okay. All right, guys. So that so that's is, how he chose to end it. Like this long winded, like trying to get him to this point, just so that he can say. I'm not interested and go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh my god, Chad seems to like that. Chad, Chad thinks that's Chad and Alpha. Okay, hold up. Let's do a poll since we're in the mood. Is was that Chad and Alpha? It will be vote yes for yes, but one for yes, but two for no. Let's check it out. Let's see what the chat has to say. Early and often, I ride. <laughs> Base Kang DSP, Kang, Kino, PPP would be proud, Kang shit. Gondolid says that's bitch made. It's a king, bow to the king, Kang, based, damn base, Lamau. Democracy is real. The votes are pouring in, chat. He's a bad man, but it's cool. <laughs> okay. The votes are, are actually coming in quite fast. DSP can take his cheap gotchas where he can, I, I suppose. It was funny, but it was a little bitch made. DSP is a cock, but it was a decent maestrog. I just hate stuttering Craig. <laughs> one more. Okay, there we go. With 100 votes and 75%, uh, yes, has taken it. 25% said that was not Chad and Alpha. Okay. I'm a little bit shocked at that, actually. I wonder how many of the people that voted yes are people who watch Kino Casino. Um, 
versus people who who don't really know much about DSP. I thought it was a bit weird to try and like have this cordial conversation and then just say go fuck yourself because I, I don't know. It just felt like an emotional outlast. But I mean, I don't know if you guys saw the whole interview. It's about an hour long, but there was a point where. A stuttering Craig in this conversation, and, and out of context, I think it actually looks worse for DSP than um, in context, because there's an earlier part in this where Craig is like, "Well, you lied to us about the um, WWE champions thing, so fuck you." Like that's literally what he says. So when he says "go fuck yourself," actually, he might have just literally said "go fuck yourself," and I think DSP was trying to call back to that moment when when he said no. So in context, it actually does look a little bit better for DSP. I don't know. I thought it was a bit rude to close out like that. Super immature, but then again, it's DSP. That's probably a fair way to put it. Okay. Um, If it's DSP versus a literal faggot, I'm always for DSP. Is he actually gay, or does he just look gay? He has, like, that pretty boy gay face, and I think that he uses Instagram filters, but I thought that was just, like, insecurity. Is he actually homosexual? Yes, he is literally gay. Mm, I see. Okay. Phil gave Moon Pie a huge shout out. <laughs> I mean, our conversation was pretty tame. I, th I felt like I, I handled myself well. Craig has AIDS. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> you know, saying someone has AIDS is actually per se defamation. You better watch yourself, boys. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!